Hello everyone. Today's video will be focused on usage reporting in VMware ARIA Operations for Logs. Usage reporting is a critical component of ARIA Operations for Logs as it will help you control your ingestion costs by diagnosing noisy neighbors, checking on what devices are sending the most events, warning on thresholds, and even disabling ingestion when those thresholds have been exceeded. Let's get started. Here we have the screen for our usage reporting in VMware ARIA Operations for Logs. Under the Ingestion and Storage Summary screen, we can see a basic overview of all the ingestion, the volume, where it went, whether it's index storage or non-index storage, and then your scan, if you've been scanning your non-index storage and running queries, and your non-billable logs for things like VMC and AWS. We can see here our billable and non-billable logs. Looks like most of our logs are billable in this graph. Our top five partitions by storage. So it looks like most of our events are going into our index partitions and not so much our non-index partitions. This graph shows the storage usage over a 30-day period. We had a few spikes, but overall, looks like maybe we cleaned something up and then the trending went down. And these are logs that are being filtered at the source. So from our ARIA Operations for Logs proxy agent, we are filtering approximately three gigabytes of logs at the source so they're not ingested into ARIA Operations for Logs. Going a little further, the Queries tab will show a summary of all queries that have been run the volume of data scanned, and how many users have run a query within the past hour. You can see here we ran a pretty big query at around 1235, and then we kind of stopped after that. So there might have been an issue we had to search for and get some information on. That's what this is showing. This is the data scan per page. So this is showing that our scheduled reports page is scanning the most data to show us the graphs for all this very good information. And then the Explorer Logs page has only been used to query 24 gigabytes of data. We can break this down into index and non-index. So we haven't done any queries in our non-index partitions. So we have no information there that has been accessed within the last hour. If we want to see which queries are being run, we can see here, these are the queries that each user is running. All of these queries have finished. It shows us how much data has been scanned and the time window. So if you have a query here that is stuck or a query that a user is running that is costing a lot for a non-index partition, you can tell them to stop and you can inform them that query scanning for non-index partitions incurs a cost. This just shows our active sessions inside of VMware ARIA Operations for Logs. We have about two pages of active sessions, and you can see when they first became active. Ingestion limits is a new feature. This is a great feature that will send you an email alert if you reach a critical threshold of ingestion that you have set here. So here, our warning threshold is 750 gigabytes with a critical threshold of 1,000 gigabytes. When either of these thresholds are hit, we will get a warning. Then we can also set a daily ingestion alert. We have a critical and a warning threshold as well. The cool thing about daily ingestion alerts is if you enable this and you set thresholds, if the critical threshold is breached, we can check this box and then all log ingestion will stop until it is started again manually. Or it will reset the next day at 12 o'clock a.m. UTC. This is a great solution if you have a noisy neighbor calling into your ARIA Operations for Logs instance and it's sending tons and tons of logs and you need time to figure it out. You can stop the log ingestion, figure out what the problem is, fix it, and then restart log ingestion and not have to pay all those ingestion fees for those logs you might not have needed. And finally, we have log statistics. This will show us our top contributors. We can group it in different ways and we can choose how many days we want to see our top, our top contributors by. So it looks like our busiest contributor is this source, almost three gigabytes of data for the past seven days. So if we click on him, looks like he got a little more chatty today, but on the other days he was pretty quiet comparatively. So we can break down, look at this, we can set a custom time, I have seven days set. You can group them by source, you can group it by host name. So I'll change this to host name, and this will show us who our busiest hosts are. So if we want to go check these hosts out to see if they're possibly sending events they don't need to send. Or if we want to, we can disable collection from this machine completely. If we want to go a little deeper, we can do Explore More. This will bring you to the standard Logs Explorer window where you could run a few more queries. You can get a little more detailed, add some filters, and you can see sorted by event types who your top log contributors are. And you can see what the actual logs are themselves. That concludes our overview of usage reporting in VMware ARIA Operations for Logs 
please log in, give it a try, and as always, we really appreciate feedback. Thank you.